All right, our chunky mustard pickles have sat for an hour covered at room temperature, and we're ready to drain them and um, start getting our brine ready to go. So um, we're just gonna give them a quick stir. And we're gonna go ahead and um, bring them over here to drain. Um, when you do this, make sure you don't rinse any of that off because you do want the salts to stay on our pickles. Um, I think I'm going to have, we'll grab a second colander. I'll let these. I'm going to let this. Whoop. Grab my pieces that slid through. So we do want this to drain really nice while we work on the next um, section of this. Okay, so we're just going to set this aside and let it drain um, while we prepare the rest of our recipe. All right, so um, in our large stainless steel saucepan, we are going to combine our sugar, clear gel, mustard, ginger, and turmeric. So we're going to start with three cups of sugar. Um, four tablespoons of clear gel and clear gel is um, what is going to help thicken it. It is very similar to um, it's a modified cornstarch um, so it's made to take the heat better um, and not turn cloudy. So we're going to add, can you grab me a knife please? four tablespoon of the clear gel. So the, the really nice part about the ball um, canning books is they do have some really helpful hints um, kind of hidden throughout the book. And this one um, just has a tip about clear gel and it just says it's a cooking starch that is acceptable for use in home canning. Not all cooking starches are suitable for home canning as reheating causes some to lose their viscosity. Making mixtures too thick can interfere with required heat penetration during heat processing. In this recipe, clear gel is used to create a thicker, smoother texture. Um, and so for more information on the clear gel, you can check the glossary. So that's the fun thing about these canning books is they're gonna teach us lots as we go through and use them. So we have our sugar and clear gel. We're gonna add a quarter cup of dry mustard.
Okay. All right, now we're gonna add in a tablespoon of ground ginger. me a bowl to small little bowl for um because of course my lid is smaller around than level that off tablespoon of our turmeric No, that was tablespoon of our ground ginger. I was right, had a moment, slight moment of panic there. And a teaspoon of ground turmeric. Okay, at this point, we're gonna stir everything together um, and then we're gonna gradually add our half a cup of water. And you want to just add it gradually so that we don't get one big lump. Okay, next we're going to add our vinegar and red pepper. So we'll measure some vinegar and then we'll cut up a red pepper. No. I know, but we don't want to burn it while I'm cutting everything up. So, okay, we are going to cut up our red pepper. Um, so we're just going to seed it and then finally chop it. So I'm just gonna cut it in half. Take out the stem. We're just gonna make sure we get all the seeds out. I'm going to cut it using our food chopper. So when we can um, or do any food preservation, we want to make sure that we're using um, fruits and vegetables that are in their peak ripeness um, so that they're really fresh and um, ripe and not overripe or bruised. Um, you definitely want to use the really nice fruits and vegetables. So if you guys have been watching along with us this fall, um, we have our little food chopper. So it has a small food grate, um, which makes cutting up our peppers, um, onions, that kind of stuff really fast and gives them that nice uniform size and shape. Um. 
this is definitely one of those food tools um, that has many uses, whether it's food preservation or just daily food preparation. Okay, so we're all done with that. Um, clean out the few little pieces. And just very nicely, evenly um, diced red pepper that's going to give these pickles a really pretty color as they're finished. All right, and our last ingredient is going to be two cups of white vinegar. So when you measure any liquid, you want to get down eye level and make sure that you are even with that so you can get an accurate measurement. And at this point, we're gonna bring it to a boil over medium heat. Just stirring constantly till it boils. Our mixture has boiled for the five minutes. And as you can see, we've definitely thickened. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in our cucumbers. And we're gonna return it to a boil. bring your camera over we can kind of as we stir this in see that we're getting a really pretty color the yellow is from the turmeric and um, <clears throat> we were just saying um, this would definitely clear your sinuses. It is definitely smelly. Um, but the red pepper is going to stay really pretty and give it that nice little pop of bright red um, in here. So hopefully this doesn't take very long to come back to a boil. Um, so we'll jump back on as soon as it's boiling and we'll show you the next step. 